Okay, so this is going to be a fairly straightforward uh, patterns. Uh, these are for sword, these are sword frogs or sword holsters for the belt. Uh, the way I've built them, uh, I'm doing two sizes. So this is going to be like you know, just a standard size. It will handle uh, a sword that's, you know, a plastic sword, of course, you know, something from Comic Con or something like that. Uh, not metal. You don't want to put metal through this. Or, or if the sword has a scabbard. That's what this is intended for. Uh, so don't put putting a sharpened metal sword through here. Just you know, be aware. But this is going to be the standard size. Um, it's going to, it's about six and a half. Uh, what does that see? It's about seven inches wide. And this is going to fold up. And you know, you'll see that here when I make it. Uh, and this is the keeper that goes here that I can attach to the belt. And also an, an optional uh, holder if you need to, if the sword is heavy and you want to attach it a uh, second point to the belt, it's longer. Either way, um, so this one's the regular size, about seven inches wide. Uh, and this is the larger one. One thing I wanted to show you, because this is in two pieces on the pattern, if you need to make this smaller, you just pull this in like that or if you need to make it uh, you know for to accommodate uh, larger uh, scabbards or swords uh, then just you know pull it out a little bit like that you know it's two pieces of course so just you know adjust this piece as needed um, what I did was I laid uh, the sword I have just over the top made sure that there was gonna be plenty of room uh, even when I fold this uh, to accommodate it. So that's one way. You tape it up, fold it over you, the, the scabbard or the sword itself uh, to make sure there's room between you know, the, where these buckles are going to come over and you know, fold over from the bottom to this buckle here. Or even from like this stitch line to the bottom. Make sure that the sword can enter in right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, you know, these are straightforward. I'm going to uh, cut these out of uh, leather, punch the holes, uh, and stitch them together with the little keeper that goes, hangs here. Um, and I'm going to put a little grommet on these uh, as an optional place to hang. Like I said, this is optional. If it's, if it's a lightweight you know, sword uh, for cosplay or something like that, you don't need to put the grommet there um, or here if it's a smaller one. So I'm going to get to these and, and then um, show you how they look. All right, bye. Okay, here we go. So I got the, uh, the large version and the standard version. Uh, holes punched, slots punched, um, and the little keeper here uh, that's going to fold. And, and I put little... Just a faint markings so you can kind of see where they should go. Okay, so th that's just for these lines here uh, for the, the little loop and the D ring. Uh, those are just, just for reference. Okay, they're on some large one as well. But I got the large one, I uh, got this one ready, and like I said, I got uh, everything punched and, and holes ready to go. So I'm going to, I'll start with the small one again, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sew here, leather, and then you'll see that these, these four holes in the middle, they're going to match up with these four holes, uh, these stitching holes. So the stitching holes and the, the uh, uh, rivets should match up to these four holes and rivet holes. Okay, so I'm actually going to stitch from the end all the way to that corner, and then from that corner down. And then once once I put the uh, rivets in, I'll stitch I'll stitch across and and uh, you know get that really stitched together. Um on this one, because there's going to be some weight on it, I probably will put some glue just underneath here 
to, to help set this there and, and on this end. Um, probably isn't necessary with the, the sewing and the, the rivets, but, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. So, and, uh, it, it's not going to change the way it looks. So, uh, I'm going to have that in there. So I'm going to start on this one first, uh, and then also, you know, get the grommet, uh, set after, after this is sewed up. So I'll, uh, do that next and show you how that one, how it turns out. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so here they are, uh, real quick before I put the straps on, but I wanted to show you with, um, you know, with some props. I know this is a, is a katana plastic one and it really wouldn't go into a frog, but this is just for examples. Uh, so uh, I got the, the little grommet there and this is, again, this, this whole thing with the, the hole there and this strap piece is optional, but uh, in case your piece is heavy, you might want an extra strap to hang up from, a, uh, from the belt uh, farther back on your hips. Um, I got these, got the threads sewn in there. I have the D-ring in there. Uh, this is going to take three straps. Uh, and this one here is going to take four. Uh, but here's this one. I have an, uh, something I got from Comic-Con a long time ago. But this is just show... Uh, a larger sword uh, if you have something like this uh, for your cosplay uh, or if you have something in a, in a larger scabbard. So uh, this kind of gives you an idea uh, with the measurements here on the mat uh, how big this is going to be. Um, this one takes four straps and so I'll be doing that next. Um, and yeah, so those are that, that's how they're looking right now. And I'll get the straps on there with the buckles and uh, see, how, see how those look. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so I uh, got the straps made. Uh, and here's an example of um, you know, two examples of different sides. So, like, this would be worn on the left side to be drawn with the right hand. And this would be uh, worn on the right side, drawn with the left hand. So, you can swap these. You know, of course, you can. Make it for a lefty or a righty. Uh, it just depends on uh, uh, how, how you want to wear it, I guess. But um, so I made the straps, and I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, on here so you see what they look like. But I wanted to show you just really simple one inch buckle, one inch straps. Um, I got the buckles off of um, Amazon, uh, fairly cheap, uh, really quick shipping. So uh, that's why I got them. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these on real quick and show you what that looks like. Hold on. Okay, so here it is. Here's this one with uh, the three buckles uh, attached. Uh, they go through the top and just wrap around. Uh, you're making this, you can make it tighter or loosen it up a little bit, uh, just to uh, you know allow a, bit, a little bit more room, depending on the you know, the width of the scabbard or or sword or or whatever you're putting in there. Um, so yeah, uh, there's this one, and then here's this one. Uh, what I wanted to show is, I like the look of the straps with the end coming down, but if you really want to, just thread it the other way and the straps will come up if that's easier for you uh, to, to use. Or if you like the look of it better this way, fine, that's, that's, that's cool. Um, but yeah, this is the bigger one, has the, has the wider opening, can accommodate uh, much bigger uh, swords or scabbards. Uh, one thing that I was, I don't know if I'll do this or not, but one thing you could do if you wanted to attach a little piece, a little strip of leather with some uh, rivets and a small D ring here and here, then you could, uh, put, you know, something smaller underneath, right? So you just, uh, run some, run some connectors, uh, some thread, from that little D-ring and this one to here. And then you could have a double scabbard, you know, if you really wanted to. Uh, so you could hold, you could put two on the same side. But I, I just, I was just thinking of that right now when I was looking at these. That would be pretty cool doing a double scabbard. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll design that one next. But yeah, so here's the, here they are. Um, uh, regular size, larger size. Um, 
this uh, they use all one inch buckles. Uh, the only difference is uh, this is a one inch D ring and this is a one and a half. So a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. Um, and so it'll you know, accommodate a little bit more weight. Uh, I'm gonna make some straps. These are, these are uh, three quarters inch width. Uh, like I said before, optional if you want to connect these to a belt like you know uh, further back uh, to help uh, you know hold the weight of your sword, uh, just as like a counterbalance type thing, uh, I would use it. If not, don't worry about this. Don't punch that hole. Don't use the the eyelet or grommet uh, there. So you know, don't do that if you don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna get some uh, more pics of these and hopefully maybe uh, show them in use. And uh, good luck with these. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, join my Facebook page, uh, Simple Good Leather. Uh, or if you have any questions, contact me through Etsy and we'll see you next time. All right, good luck, bye. Okay, so this is what I was kind of telling you about uh, with connector piece here, to the main D-ring, and then this strap just to uh, help offset some of the weight if you have something heavier like this. Um, but again, this whole piece right here is optional, uh, but I wanted to you know, kind of show you how it looks, okay? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not gonna go into building these straps here for your belt because everybody's belt's gonna be different, your cosplay's gonna be different you might need to attach this piece to a D-ring that's hanging off your belt. And so you'd have, you know, a clasp here and a clasp at this end. Um, you might, you know, the same with here, you might, you might want to do this something different or have a different clasp here. So, uh, and then the length of this right here is going to be a preference as well. The length of this is going to be preference uh, to how you want it to sit on your body. So um, these are going to be, definitely up to you to customize how you need uh just make sure you fit it like this is a one inch this is three quarter inch so just make sure your straps uh fit your hardware all right so uh there's that one and and uh the other one's just you know, the same just on the other side so uh good luck and uh let me know if you have any questions okay here's an example with the uh the regular size um, because of how this is a little bit wider here than near the tip, like a katana is, uh, so I tightened, I loosened the, here the front and then tightened the one on the back so that it would fit in there perfectly. And that's a good example of how to use those buckles. So, uh, I know katanas don't go in frogs, but this is just an example. Again, don't hate. Uh, yeah, example. And then it just shows, uh, here on the belt. And kind of how that how that's gonna sit. So uh, yeah, uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Good luck.